What is going on, everybody? It is your girl, Dana Patrice, a.k.a. The Black Fairy, and I am here with another reading. Okay, it is Friday, Love Day, Venus Day. Most love goddesses own Friday. So why not do a collective love reading? That's what I'm thinking, okay? So, um... Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any new readings, which I'll be dropping majority of the week. But we're going to get into it by starting with the energy. And I always start my energy cards with a little fairy deck because, you know, I'm the black fairy. So we're going to do that. What's the energy for this love reading spirit? We seek your guidance, your love, and your divine clarity. What is the energy for this love reading? Okay, so we have a few cards that popped out let's see what we're working with two cards transformation and divination okay transformation i love this card isn't this card so beautiful so yeah here you go you can see it now <laughs> right so beautiful and it says this card says this fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. So some of you are going through a transformation right now. And I feel like that transformation is going to align you with your best self, which often also aligns you with your soulmate twin flame counterpart. We also have divination. So some of you have been actually um picking up on this you've been wanting a relationship you've been trying to attract into your life a relationship through divination and just visualization wanting hoping wishing wanting love into your life and through your transformation i feel like this is going to happen for us it says embrace your powers of divination which are especially strong right now you have the ability to see your current situation with a crystal clear clarity so right now you can you actually are in a very powerful place to really get that partner to come on in if you're if you're in love you're you're able to transform that into what you want this is really a high pressure time for you to really get intuitive about what it is that you desire and to tap in and to visualize and to create that we are manifesting like crazy right now so it's super important that you get clear on what it is that you're looking for and what it is that you want especially in terms of love so this is a beautiful start okay this is a beautiful start to the reading let's get into the rest of it so we'll get into some tarot i'm going to take a few tarot cards and then we're going to get into some love decks spirit of the universe i call you forward in love light righteousness and truth what message do you have for the collective in regards to this love reading what else can you tell us let's see here what we pulled out so we have the five of pentacles the king of wands can i have one more card thank you and the tower in reverse let me tell you why i love what i'm seeing here Many of you felt left out in the cold, lonely. When is that love going to happen? When is my person going to be here? Um, and Spirit wants you to know with the King of Wands that there's a passionate love coming into your life. It's going to be passionate. It's going to be someone who's straightforward, knows what they want, and is ready to love you. Um, with the Tower card in reverse, I see that all those troubles you had in your love life are um, pretty much turning around for you. Um, I feel like many of you have been building a better foundation for yourselves in regards to love and finding that soulmate love that you're desiring. Um, with the eight of wands in reverse, I don't think that this is going to happen for many of us very, very quickly. This is going to be, again, you're going through this transformation. But while you're going through this transformation, remember to visualize only the best of things that you want and desire at this time. Um, and that is what's going to bring forward your soulmates what else do you got for us angels of romance we seek your guidance and your love 
What else do you see for the collective? Give me a few more cards. So the card that fell out here is finances and career. So your person or you yourself may have been more so focusing on finances and career. You may have felt like um, financial issues is a factor in your love life right now. Like maybe um, the, the person that we, you are creating, that's what they're focusing on, their finances and career. I feel like that's their, the energy of your person. They've been f focusing on those factors because they want to be able to, what I'm hearing is take care of you. The second card that just dropped out is new love. So there is a new love coming in. A new person um, has stirred romantic feelings for you. I don't even think that you're going to see this person coming. What else, spirit? Give me one more thank you. It's safe for you to love. Right? Open your heart and give an to give and receive the highest of energy of all, which is love. And then we have flirt at the bottom of the deck. I really feel like spirit saying, I want you to be open. I want you to be free. I want you to just start visualizing. You know what I mean? As some of you may be focusing on your finances and career, also make time and be open to the new love because that spirit's sending your way and know that it's safe for you to love this person. Many of you have gone through some serious heartbreak and you're tired, like this, like the tower moment here, right? You've been through heartache, but spirit wants you to know it's safe for you to love. This time is over. There's a new time, and this new love is going to bring you such great things. This king of wands is going to bring you a, amazing things. So it may be even for some of you a fire sign. Um, let's get into, clarify this new love card, spirit. Tell us about this new love. Yeah. He might be someone that's coming back. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but with the Four of Cups in reverse, it may be someone that you may have passed up love with prior, and now they're coming back around. You may not see the gift in it <laughs> as yet, as you are focusing on your finances career, and as they've been focusing on their finances and career. I feel like there's this energy where it may be, it could be interchangeable. It could be them focusing on it, or it could you be you focusing on it. During this transformation, you may be more so like, I'm trying to get to the bag. I'm not thinking about love right now, but in your deepest of hearts, you do want love. You do want partnership. You do want to create that into your life. But again, love's hurt you, left you out in the cold, right? There's, this may be someone, this, it may be this person that's coming back. Maybe that, Again, I feel like this, it's this coming back around energy. That's why you're not necessarily open to it and you'd rather focus on your finances and career. But spirit wants you to know that it's safe for you to love. Tell us more about this new love, spirit. Queen of Cups. Energy. They want to offer you something. They want to come in and offer you something. King of Pentacles in reverse. Again, there's this lack of funding. Maybe what's holding them back from giving you an offer is that they feel like you deserve more. They want to be able to take care of you properly. They want to show you, listen, this time around that I'm coming through for you and towards you, I'm going to be really be able to protect and provide for you and love on you, right? And Spirit wants you to know they'll, when that time comes, they'll be serious. They'll be genuine with the Queen of Cups energy. They're going to be coming to offer you something real. Um, again, only thing that's stopping them at this moment is, again, that King of Pentacles energy, not feeling like they are in a financial position to care for you the way that you want to. Um, you know what? Let me switch decks. Let's get into this, this other love deck that I have. I love this Island Tarot Wellness. Let's see. Tell us more about this love. Tell us more about this new love. The golden mirror. So they probably had like a self-absorbed type of vibe, right? They probably came off self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided relationship, love bombing you perhaps. Again, I feel like there's this energy of again when they tried before they didn't have themselves totally together for you so um they want to tr come in and try again keys on the ring many options decisions unconventional string along one night stand so this could have been a one night stand for you guys that they came around they're coming at the time again they didn't have anything to offer you right 
but they want to come back with new love and new passion, right? They want to talk to you, talking, interested, conversing more. Um, awaited messages arrives, text, call, email. So they they messed up what from what I'm seeing. They messed up in the beginning. They fumbled the bag with you, and it really hurt you. But it sets you up into this place of transformation of finding new love. You may, some of you have may been wanting to call th this person back into your life, but at the, again, they weren't ready for you. And it's up to you whether you want to receive this energy back again. Spirit is saying that it's safe for you to love. Um, so perhaps this person has went through their karmic cycles and has now come to a place where they're ready to love you the way that you deserve. I do feel like some of you are like, nah, I'm good. I'm just going to focus on the money and the career, just like they were trying to do. And I think that even like I just heard, like they see you working on your finances and career. And that's why they know they have to have their shit together. They're like, I can't come back and come back with some mediocre offer. I have to get myself together more so too because I see you grinding. They're watching you. Give us some more cards on this energy. Yeah, they're trying to break free. Um, you know that song, Free My Mind? This is the piece that you cannot buy. Ivy, I'm hunting that. Da, 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 da. I can't remember the song. <laughs> I'm not doing it justice at all. But it's like they're trying to free their mind from you and they can't, right? They've broken the illusion with the moon in reverse in regards to seeing who you are. Like they see you now. Before they didn't, they didn't realize what they had. They don't want you to go with the um, six of swords in reverse. You know, they. I think even some of them may have went towards someone else, but that didn't go as planned. Yeah, they're having a hard time leaving you behind. The chariot, they're having a hard time moving forward. Bottom of the deck, the hangman in reverse. Yeah, these... <laughs> whatever energy this is picking up, this person has love for you, wants love from you, wants the best for you. And they now think that it's them. They know that they fumbled. They know that they messed up. But they they can't move forward without at least trying to bring this new love, this new, um, this new offer to you. Again, I do feel like some of you guys are like, nah, I'm good. Some of you may be open to it. And if you are open to it, it is safe for you to love this time around. They've learned a lot of lessons. Um, but again, still some situation with the resources which is making them insecure um let's get a card give me one more card spirit one more card okay nothing flipped over one more card thank you trust the niggle so in this situation spirit saying you really got to trust yourself whether it is that you would like to remain focused maybe you're willing to maybe like listen we can date but we're not going to just jump right back into things what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you if the feeling is saying give this person a chance and move forward go with it if not remove yourselves bottom of the deck confirmation of the beginning right you're going through a transformation things are changing at a cellular level you're deeply healing right now and that could be part of the reason why you are you know not so trusting towards the situation you're focused on being your best self and transforming into the best person that you can be and you don't want this interaction to steer you off guard again spirit says that it is safe for you to love you don't have to worry. You've learned so much. There's no way that this person's going to come back into your life with the same energy because you don't have the same energy. You've changed, so they have to change. They can't come to you the same way that they did the time before. And they know this. They know this. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. This is some good stuff. I mean, I guess it depends on how you look at it from. Um, yeah. I love you. I believe in you. You've got this.